welcome to another video of the iPad only book. Uh, this, these are the iPad only uh, book co authors, uh, Michael Slewinski. And I'm August Tupinat. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about two applications that has come to be quite significant and important on my iPad only experience. One of them is Evernote, who many people use it to a much to give a more extended use than what I do really with it. For me, Evernote has one main function that is a file cabinet. Because how powerful is their OCR recognition and because how great they store files, I pay for the premium version so I can forward stuff, forward document, forward stuff that I want to file and keep in record. and. It's just there and I can quickly search, I can quickly find the documents and it's really a cool application for me in that sense. Don't use it again for much than that, but it's a cool application for me. Yeah, you know, Evernote, in my, in my case, Evernote changed the way I work in the sense that I stopped generating files. You know, if I would have, want to write a, you know, a proposal or something, I would just put it as a note to Evernote. If I want to write specs to something, a specification of something, I just you know, write a note into Evernote. Every email that, you know, contains an attachment like a PDF, an invoice or something, I just, you know, forward it to Evernote. And for example, invoices, I, I, there, I have a notebook in, uh, in Evernote called invoices and where I share this notebook with my father, who's my accountant. So I just forward every invoice to this Evernote, uh, uh, note, Evernote notebook and my father has access to it and so, so he knows that he gets all the invoices there. So I don't have to think about them anymore. I just, just forward them there and then he deals with it. So the Evernote helps me, you know, help me get rid of this notion that I have to create files for things. I don't create files, I create notes in Evernote. And as you said, the OCR recognition, the search, I can find these things there. So I, I, I put everything there in Evernote. As, as, as we discussed previously, also when I scan documents, my scan application, scanning application, sync them with Evernote. So everything is there. And we also use another yep. application. And yeah. Before before we jump to the other application, I and I share more details of this on the book, but it, but I think it's important to bring it to to the video. For me, tax time it's been a headache, but you need to do it, and everybody needs to do it, and it's part of life. And and as I always said, I'm glad that I pay taxes every year because that means I make money that year. So um, tax time is one of those moments that in the past for me has been a headache because it's recollect all the paperwork that you need to bring to the accountant so they reconcile and figure it out, the taxes. Since I start emailing all those stuff to Evernote, I have just a notebook call taxes and whatever is the next year. And I email there and when it gets tax time, I just got all those files, forward them to the accountant and I'm done. A process that number one used to take me a really a lot of hours. Now it takes me minutes to send all the information and I'm done. And just that, I will like to say, save me a couple of days of work on compiling all the information that now I compile day by day in a really, really quick way. Totally, totally. And, and then just the same way it works for me, as I said, with my, with my father and everything, we just, you know, put everything there and I just, I just deal with it. So this is really, this is really a huge time server. And another thing that, you know, the other application we want to talk about is the good reader, which is, which is not only a good PDF reader, it's also like a file transfer application. So when you want to, you know, transfer one file from one place to another, it's the perfect thing. Because, for example, I just get a file from Dropbox and upload it to an FTP server, or I download from an FTP or SFTP server and then put it in Dropbox or put it in the in the Photos folder. It, it's like a, this, you know, this transit, you know, place for me. For example, I, I use Good Goodreader most of this, for, uh, most for that. And so the, the, these tasks that, that, that seem you know, difficult and seem not designed for the iPad and didn't seem that you need a big machine for these uh, tasks, this small application Goodreader makes you, I mean, helps you, you know, transfer files between different systems easily. I use, I use for that transfer without a doubt. And 
But I also do it, you said a lot, for fill up PDF forms, for, to make annotations in PDFs, to highlight PDFs and then send them, highlight them. It really, my applications of choice, when I need to interact with PDFs, even if I if I'm going to make any comments or any modifications or I want the PDF to have notes or it's a form, I just go there and make it. All those forms that even I get sometimes in paper that you need to fill up and, and, and all that, if I know I'm going to use that form more than once, I scan it with the iPad, get it to good reader and fill it up there. So the next time I can just work from there and email it directly and it gets to be a really fantastic application for that. It's, again, it saved me a lot of time. Those two applications has proved to save me an incredible amount of time. Me too. And we'll talk about more applications that, that save us more time on the iPad and then keep us more productive. More details in our book, iPad only, or in the future videos. Thank you. Thank you.